a month ago I was lucky enough to get a chance to hunt for the Baltic Amber at the Baltic Sea. Weather was fantastic and I did catch around 250 grams of amber in total and unexpectedly one of the pieces had a secret inside. A rather big ant which I'm gonna cut and polish today to rip that prehistoric critter. If you haven't seen the hunting video, go and watch it now, it was tons of fun. Hey guys, Yark here and welcome to Emberscape. And today is gonna happen first ember cutting video of 2024. And I did prepare a piece of ember and this one is kinda special one because this one was captured personally by me from the Baltic Sea in the 31st of December of 2023. As you can see, it's winter outside and it's rather cold today. And usually I do preps outside because I don't have designated place to make preparations. So yeah, in winter it's not an option, but I have this small home on my piece of land and this small home is gonna be my future workshop and I will renovate it. And yeah, so winter has came and finally I have roof on, under my head to do the preps. And most important thing, do we have the electricity in here? Because if not, it's gonna be a problem. And we do. <laughs> This is the piece and yeah it does have an ant in it but it's quite close to the surface and that's usually the case. From the other side it's quite rough so we will try to make the piece aesthetic and yeah we don't want to destroy the ant. Uh, it's better visible when it's wet. Yes, a little bit better visible when the piece is wet. Either way we need some water and <laughs> I only now understood that I don't have water in, in this house but it's not a problem because it's winter and we have plenty of snow which can be used as water <laughs> let's get back to business okay I'm ready to start let's make it wet in the snow we will need that and I will be using Dremel with 600 grit tip, it's very uh, smooth, so we don't damage the end because I will start from the end side and this could be potentially risky. It's too smooth. I guess, yeah, I guess we have, we have to change it. And this should do it. The crack from this side is gone, the ant is in the middle, so let's take care of the ant. <laughs> this is an extreme preparation without water. I don't know if you can see it, but there is basically the layer of ember on top of the ant. So I will try to remove it smoothly. This white thing was the cut on top. Yes, the 
crack is gone. The ant is less smooth now, but we will fix it. Now let's take care of the shape from all the sides. This ugly thing and everything. And we will do a time lapse on it. The crack from the front is gone and the ant is still all right. Some more snow. Oh man. <laughs> There we go. Crackless from the front, but the shape from the other side is a little bit more challenge. I hope it doesn't break in half. Yeah, let's make it smooth from other side. I will change the tip again and we will do a time lapse once again. I stopped for a bit because it's getting really dangerous. We can clearly see uh, the layering in in this ember and it can easily break in half. From this side looks okay, but from this side, like two separate layers of ember and I wonder how deep it goes. Okay, looks like I'm a bit an idiot because we can see how deep it goes from the side. It goes all the way across. <laughs> Good thing I did stop. Okay, so let's move it out with lower grid and just prep it from one side. The ant will be visible only from this front side. Back side, mm, not gonna be. Yeah. We are done and we will go to pre-polish now, but oh man, it's quite cold. I can see my breath, so. Yeah, it's quite cold next time. I will make a fire in this fireplace. It is working, but today I'm a little bit not prepared to do it. <laughs> so yeah, next time we will be warmer. There it is. Pre-polished. Almost. With 600 grit. So let's make it wet and inspect and we will finish it up. <laughs> Into the snow it goes. There you go, piece a lot more transparent because the rough surface from all the sides are removed. It's not the smallest and to be honest, it's quite fat. <laughs> okay, let's not waste any time, let's polish this baby. <laughs> we need some water. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be something new. I got my <laughs> coat on, I got very cold, but we are done. Now the comes the polishing and we can go home and take pictures for this baby and get warm. <laughs> Let's finish it up. I have to tell you guys, this ant is uncomfortable, uncomfortably close to the surface, but close, but uh, yeah, not damaged at all. And the positive side is the, I think the picture is gonna be amazing for this ant. That's way too much polishing paste. It's done, reveal time. Let's wipe off the polishing paste. And there we go, it's a beauty. So now let's go home and make some pictures and I'm excited for them. Oh, look at this. We have not one inclusions, but at least two here in the corner. The second one. See? <laughs> Sweet. We have like five minutes walk to the home to make the pictures and I can't stop looking at it. It's very cool. 
sweet yeah now let's get going and finish the video and the pictures because pictures are essential for this kind of videos i think Not surprisingly, it's the second most common ant that can be found in Baltic Ember. It's called Lascius Schaeffer de Cary. This ant was described from the Baltic Ember, meaning in modern day these species are completely extinct. They had to be quite abundant back in the Eocene because it's the second most common ant that can be discovered in Baltic Ember at all. Even though this species is rather small, we have multiple inclusions in it. There is one more partial dead body of an ant, also a mite, and one more super tiny ant that can be, that measures a bit more than one millimeter in body length. Personally, I smell an action scene in this piece. Ants are known to scavenge dead bodies of other ants, and even ants from the same colony. Do you think it's possible that the reason this ant is in the ember is because it tried to scavenge this dead carcass of other ant? Just a bit unlucky timing though, because it, because it got trapped in the sticky raisin while it went for the body. Overall, I'm quite happy with these pictures and the ember itself. And yeah, this is it for the video. If you did enjoy it, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more ember content. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!